Um, the way that I'm trying to keep them engaged through this as well is, is sort of drip feed them bits every now and again and back that up with other stuff. Uh, so the first thing that I did on this was set them just a question to have a think about. So we're doing a unit uh, called the atmosphere. And there's just some questions for them to have a think about. After that, there was the lesson. So 24th of March, I sent them resources to make a storyboard. And there's the YouTube clip of that lesson. Here we go. I set a little poll for them. How useful did you find the YouTube clip and lesson resources? Lots of emails got sent to me. So instead of just replying all, I just sent a little thing there. Playlist to help them with their task. And just updates every now and again. To keep them going and keep them interested. And there we go. 272 submissions off of the atmosphere of the storyboard. So then I'd set that as a task in the lesson on uh, the 25th. And you can see that due the 29th of the 3rd. So I followed that up with uh, just some nice encouraging a reminder that it was going to happen and then we did the webinar there was a powerpoint review what did they think about the webinar uh, what how they prefer us to use the resources that we've got so uh, this is a bit interesting that of the resources that we've used so far most of them like the idea of having uh, youtube for the lesson webinar for reviewing the lesson and edmodo for backing up with the quizzes so i started with a lesson on youtube reviewed that lesson on a webinar and then afterwards I let out this quiz as well okay so three different techniques that we're mixing together are uh, there just to promote engagement and videos so they can refer back to them whenever they want to